हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल सी बी एस ई इंग्लिश द टॉपर्स चॉइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लास एट नाइन्थ स्टोरी फ्रॉम द सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर बुक इट सो हैपन द कॉमेट पार्ट वन हे वी गो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इट वॉज अ मूनलेस नाइट इन डैश ऑप्शन सार सेप्टेम्बर अक्टोबर नवेम्बर और डिसेम्बर एंड द राइट एंसर इज डिसेम्बर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट डिस्टर्ब इंद्राणी देवीज स्लीप ऑप्शन आर कोल्ड वेदर बर्स्ट ऑफ कूल ब्रीज नॉइजेस फ्रॉम द रूफ और अबसेंस ऑफ हिज हजबेंड and the right answer is burst of cool breeze question number 3 who was he hobnobbing with options are dibya indrani devi himself or no one and the right answer is with dibya question number 4 what did she smile about options are his hobnobbing knowing her husband was oblivious of practical problems of living the cold weather or the cool breeze and the right answer is knowing her husband was oblivious of practical problems of living question number 5 what do you mean by tete a tete options are public meeting public announcement private meeting or none of the above and the right answer is private meeting question number 6 what does dibya chakshu mean options are divinity divine god divine spirit or divine i and the right answer is divine i question number 7 what does her wife think of dibya options are a telescope a designing woman a man or his husband's friend and the right answer is a designing woman question number 8 how long was dibya options are 5 inch 6 inch 7 inch or 8 inch and the right answer is 8 inch question number 9 what was the tadas secret ambition options are to discover an asteroid to buy a telescope to spend nights stargazing or to discover a comet and the right answer is to discover a comet Question number 10 Whose orbits are highly eccentric Options are planets comets asteroids or none of the above And the right answer is comets Question number 11 Why could professionals not discover a comet Options are They are busy with pre-assigned programs they are busy looking at faint stars they are busy looking at nebulous galaxies or all of the above and the right answer is all of the above question number 12 how would you describe the tadas attitude towards his ambition options are pessimistic optimistic overconfident or none of the above and the right answer is optimistic question number 13 the tada was absent minded about daily chorus how was he with his calculations options are absent minded oblivious meticulous or forgetful and the right answer is meticulous Question number 
Who did he inform about his finding? Options are National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Indian Space Research Organization, Indian Institute of Astrophysics, or all of the above. And the right answer is Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Question number 15. Did he like the publicity he was receiving? Options are yes, no, maybe, or not mentioned in the story. And the right answer is no. Question number 16. Who wished the Tada had not found what he did? Options are the Tada, Indrani Devi, both A and B or none of the above. And the right answer is both A and B that is the Tada and Indrani Devi. Question number 17. The Tada laughed. I see that even an MA degree has not cured you of your dash. Options are dumbness, sarcasm, doubt or superstitions. And the right answer is superstitions. Question number 18. According to Indrani Devi, comets bring dash. Options are ill luck. Luck, money or prosperity? And the right answer is ill luck, that is bad luck. Question number 19. There is no dash whatsoever with the arrival of a comet and the calamities of the earth. Options are correlation, proof, finding or none of the above. And the right answer is correlation. Question number 20. Who had sent James a note? Options are John Macpherson, Provost of King's College, the Tada or Indrani Devi? And the right answer is John Macpherson. Question number 21. Where did the envelope tell him to come? Options are London, Canada, New York or India. And the right answer is to London. Question number 22. Who was John Macpherson? Options are Provost of King's College, Butler, Security Officer at Whitehall or Defense Science Advisor, Her Majesty's Government. And the right answer is Defense Science Advisor, Her Majesty's Government. Question number 23. Who was Johnson? Options are Provost of King's College, Butler, Security Officer at Whitehall, or Defense Science Advisor, her Majesty's Government. And the right answer is Security Officer at Whitehall. Question number 24. Johnson's Ford Cortina brought them to Whitehall in less than dash minutes. Options are 10, 20, 50 or 90. And the right answer is 90. Question number 25. How would you describe Johnson? Options are quiet, efficient, both A and B or none of the above. And the right answer is both A and B. That is quiet and efficient. Question number 26. How did James feel on seeing the typescript? Options are surprised, uneasy, anxious or all of the above. And the right answer is all of the above. Question number 27. Who had James given the manuscript to? 
options are nature i i a sir john or taylor and the right answer is nature question number 28 what would john have not tolerated if it were not sir john in front of him options are aspersions on the accuracy of his work an order to suppress his work both of these or none of these and the right answer is both of these that is aspersions on the accuracy of his work and an order to suppress his work question number 29 barring rare circumstances the collision is inevitable what were those rare circumstances options are collision with an asteroid splitting near the sun evaporating or all of the above and the right answer is all of the above question number 30 when was the next cometary collision supposed to happen options are one year 10 months 11 months or two years and the right answer is 10 months so dear friends if you have liked this video please click on like subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get more videos like this thank you very much for watching